Hi, so I beat the entire trilogy because it's like the, you know, the, the biggest like level series in GD, probably, I think. Um, so, so you know, I was like, well, I'm, uh, at some, I don't know when, I, I was just like, at some point I was like, well, man, I have the skill to beat all three levels. So I decided I'm going to beat all three levels. And spoiler, they're all fucking dog shit. Not a single one of them plays well at all. And I'm not even sure if it was like worth it to have, to be able to be like, hey, I beat the, uh, the hell trilogy. Like, I don't know, man. Like, was it worth it? Given how how fucking dog shit the levels are? Ah, debatable. Um, but yeah, uh, these are all garbage. I'm gonna talk about why they're fucking garbage. Uh, and yeah, they, uh, here's another video of me yapping about fucking GD levels. All right, so level one, Cataclysm. This level is fucking horrible. Uh, in fact, it, I think it's actually worse in the update because the problem with Cataclysm mostly boils down to the first wave, which is like so absurdly difficult compared to literally anything else in the level. Like you could put Cataclysm, Cataclysm's beginning wave into fucking bloodbath and it would still be a choke point. That's how fucking awful it is. I like why, why, why was the fucking wave buffed in the update? just makes everything worse i don't know so personally i didn't have too big of a problem with the wave so i had like a one in three pass rate i guess for the wave ish but like i know like other people have like way worse time with the first wave and it sounds genuinely horrible like every time i read someone who's like beat cataclysm as their first like extreme they're like oh i beat my first extreme over 20,000 attempts i spent over half of it at the first wave and it's like why did you why did you beat it as your first extreme jesus christ go, why why do people do that go beat Aku. and yeah moving on after the f shitstorm that is the wave this is more of a personal thing i did not like the ball uh, but I just, I don't know, it, it just didn't feel particularly good, but it was, it just felt RNG, you know, like, it just, I, I didn't feel like I could, like, do anything to increase my pass rate other than just bash my head against it until, you know, I just got enough attempts past it where I beat the level, which is kind of what I ended up doing. After that, the 40 straight fly, people, like, that's, like, a huge, like, choke point, I guess, that people tend to talk about. I didn't have a problem with it, thankfully, so, you know, I only had to deal with the wave and uh, the ball being a little weird for me, but um, after that, honestly, once you pass the straight fly, like, it's GG's. There is nothing really that difficult afterwards. Um, then again, I did play, uh, beat Cataclysm when it was a good bit below my, like, uh, skill level, so there is that. I think I still died around somewhere in the 60s? I don't really remember, but yeah, like, what, like really the only difficult parts are the wave, and then I guess the 40 ship, and then after that I really don't think there's anything that'll uh, trip anyone up. Uh, yeah, it's just so, some of the worst, like, fucking balancing ever. And a little fun fact, I had to beat this dog shit level twice, because the first time I did it, my fucking recording shat itself.
Alright. It has the exact same problem as Cataclysm, but just amplified, honestly. Basically, the problem here is that the only part that like really will trip you up is Michigan. And it's not even Michigan's like part in its entirety. It's just four clicks. Four clicks of the UFO. That is the the biggest choke point I have ever played in Extreme Demon. It is, it was so bad. Like, I would get there, like, it was just basically turn off your brain until you got, like, turn off your brain and, and until you got past the UFO, and then you would turn it on and be like, damn, I wonder where, I, where uh, I'll get, and you'd get, like, really far into the level and die to something stupid, because, like, bas like, that's basically the, the entire difficulty of this level. Uh, after that, um, Crack's part, uh, the other two big choke points people tend to talk about are Crack's part and Etzer's part. Uh, I didn't have too big of a trouble with Crack's part, it didn't really fuck me over much. Uh, Etzer's part was actually really fun. Uh, I think it's pretty balanced with the other parts as well, honestly. I didn't really feel like it, it was like a difficulty spike above anything else. Yeah, that's what I have to say about those two. Those two, those two parts didn't really, like, those two parts didn't, like, fuck me over that much. And the problem with this is that at least with Cataclysm, Cataclysm isn't that long of a level, like, you have the wave, you know, I guess, like, for the majority of people, you have the ship, and then, I guess, the dual ship, you know, it's, like, three, like, choke point area zones, or whatever, ish, and in, like, around a minute of gameplay, uh, Bloodbath is nearly two fucking minutes long, and the only major choke point, for me at least, was Michigan's UFO. It was literally the most boring fucking level ever, because I could boot up GD, do like fucking crack to the end in like five minutes, and then I just like fall asleep playing from zero because I wouldn't get fucking anywhere. Like it, it was just miserable. Um, yeah, I don't know. The fucking, it, it was just awful, because like the first like 30 seconds of every single attempt was just nothing. It'd be like, oh, beginning. I hope I pass the UFO when I get there. You know, it's like, it's just awful. In the security uh, of OnlyFans, said that there's been a huge breach and that there's there's a chance that at some point, uh, apparently everybody's like usernames and passwords are figured out. So by like this one guy, and so pretty much uh, everybody's gonna know like you know, <laughs> not only like all their images and stuff gonna get leaked, but also uh, now they're it's all gonna have like a name and password behind it. <laughs> Hope you're not using your work email. Oh yeah, that would be very bad. Hey, let's go. Holy shit, dude, what? Hmm. You know the final triple spike, right? Yes. I clipped the right edge of the block. Huh? Like, cause... I don't know, I guess you'll fucking see it. Uh, 
<laughs> I'll say, I, oh, that makes sense. So you cleared the spike, but you uh, died? Yeah, I, no, I cleared the spike, but I, I landed on the block still. Oh, And it gave me a I fucking see, heart I attack. See. Oh, so you beat it. I did beat oh, it. Oh, I, I, I see what you mean now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, I didn't know beat you, it, you I think like... I'd be a lot madder right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I understand now. You, yeah. you landed on the block, but still slipped off and won. Yeah. yeah. You, you still cleared it. Yeah. yeah. I thought you didn't clear it, and that's why you said, what the fuck? I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's good, at least you beat it now. Yeah, I can move on with my fucking life. Trilogy over. What happened to my comment? Oh, the servers are nuked. Right, are they now? Alright, finally we have Aftermath. Aftermath's only real downside is uh, the, the 40 ship, and because that's like quite, I'd say a pretty decent bit harder than uh, the rest of the gameplay. Like the control you have to have there is quite a bit. Um, and then you, after that you have this weird UFO that has some weird ass fucking like spike alignments and stuff. And then the ship after, so it's like the 40 ship, weird ass UFO, and then the ship, there's a little ship part after the UFO. Which is also really fucking weird. Like the momentum control you have to you do, it just doesn't feel natural at all. Um, and then after that, you have the f dumbass fucking micro click at like 68 or whatever. Uh, dog shit. <laughs> like, why? Like, I know J blocks didn't exist back then, but like people. Like, even back then, like, you look at the micro-clicks that some of the old levels have, it was never as bad as whatever the fuck 68 is. Um, I'm all, I hope I'm guessing the fucking uh, percentage right, because I am just going off of memory. Um, but yeah, um, the rest of the level is honestly fine. Um, the first ship is, I guess, a little obnoxious, but the pass rate on that was like 80-90%, didn't really care. Um, the drop wave, drop ship, those are uh, pretty fun. Uh, they were pretty fun to pull off and stuff, and then um, obviously the e like the ending section, like past 68, I guess. No, not past 68, more like past 58. Um, I can't comment too much because I did fluke it from the majority of it from zero, but it looks like even if if you die to the ending, it looks like it get a little annoying. There's some weird uh, mirror portal stuff, dual ship transitions. It's just kind of slapped together, but uh, I'm still going to stand by the point that Aftermath is better than uh, both Bloodbath and Cataclysm. Uh, yeah. Alright, welcome to the end of the video. In conclusion, the trilogy sucks ass. Goodbye.